A new disease has gripped Japan after the nation eased COVID restrictions. It is called Streptococcal Toxic Shock Syndrome or STSS. But for the sake of time, let's just call it flesh-eating bacteria. This lethal disease can kill a person in just 48 hours and Japan has already recorded 1,000 cases of this disease. The reason for the rise is unclear. It is believed to be due to increased mingling among people after lifting of the pandemic restrictions. STSS and its symptoms can give scares to any person, especially those who are familiar with the concept of a zombie. It is caused by a group of bacteria known as GAS or GAS. They spread through person-to-person -person contact and can lead to high fever, severe pain, low blood pressure and even multiple organ failure in cases of STSS. Swelling of the feet is a severe symptom that doctors have observed, which spreads to the knees and kills the person within two days of the infection. The mortality of STSS is quite high, well in excess of 30%. The gas group of bacteria releases certain toxins, making STSS cases more severe. Group A streptococci are common bacteria, but there are many types of these. Some of them, unfortunately, display what is called a super antigen phenomenon. These toxins can cause a hyperinflammatory response in the body. Hyperinflammatory response occurs when your immune system identifies a disease and instead of treating it, goes into an overdrive. This can cause inflammation, damaging tissues and internal organs. However, if treated promptly, a person can be saved. So far, such outbreaks have not been reported on large scale in India, and these are considered to be rare and sporadic infections. There is no reason why it should not happen in India, but large scale outbreaks have not yet been reported. Now, from what we know about the disease so far, early identification is key to saving lives. Along with that, taking precautions is of utmost importance. People should stay wary of symptoms like severe pain or redness around a fresh wound. Stay alert, identify symptoms like limb pain and swelling in the feet. Also, if a person has high fever along with the other symptoms, it is a cause of concern. For containment, people should observe basic tasks like maintaining good hygiene. Following COVID-19 era rules is not a bad idea at this point in time. The present outbreak, though, is still centered in Japan. Global concerns are rising. The spread of this disease can also happen through travel. Hence, preparations need to be made if a situation like this arises. So what measures should be taken by the government and people to ensure that mistakes from the past are not repeated? Proper screening of people traveling from abroad, especially Japan, should be done. The healthcare system in India should be prepared to deliver a swift response to cases if they surface. Masses should be made aware about the details of the disease, the flesh-eating bacteria, to equip them with better knowledge to counter infections. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.